Hi everybody, welcome to week six of my countdown to Christmas. We're halfway there. I hope your holiday preparations are going well. Today I'm just going to show you how to make this really simple, cute, itty bitty bag. Um, I think it would be good for little chapsticks or lipstick or even just some candy in there or what about those little cake balls that everybody's making now. They're so good. Okay, so easy peasy. You're going to get a piece of DSP. I used Gumball Green and Real Red from the DSP stacks. Six and a half, six and a half by four and a half. And you're going to score at one and a half, three, four and a half, and six. You're going to have this little flap left over. You're also going to score at one inch. Okay, so I made sure I went through and folded all my score lines. Now for these down here, I am going to just snip them with my scissors. And this one, <coughs> excuse me, this one I'm going to actually cut off. Okay, this little skinny one right here. Now I'm going to use snail because I did, didn't put my sticky strip on ahead of time. But do not use snail. These will not stay together that way. Please use sticky strip. I put it on the backs of three of the bottom flaps and the side of this flap. And I'm just going to put it together like this. Well, there we go. Edge to edge. And then the one that did not have anything on it will go on the bottom. Fold it in first. Sorry, I'm showing myself and not you. And then you can use a pen or something to push all that down. Now I'm going to take this half inch circle punch and go all, as far down as I can on this side and as far down as I can on that side. And then I'm going to kind of fold these in like this. Do you see how I pinched that in like that? And if your punch, if you have just a regular hole punch, you can use that too. But what I found is that I couldn't really get a good position with this one in here. So you're going to, when you put your ribbon through there, you're going to have to put it through those things that are on those papers that are folded through on the inside. Um, another option for this bag is instead of folding these in, you could fold them out like this. And it'll, it would be like that, which is kind of cool too. But for today, I'm just going to fold mine in. And I'm going to take my, on this one I use the gumball green ribbon. And this one I'm going to use the real red grow grain stitched. Put it through there. And, <coughs> excuse me, I have a tickle in my throat. Push those in. Tie this here like this. Get this all tied up like that. Okay, so there we have it. Trim this one. Now, the stamp that I used, I made it, kept it really simple. This is from the set Tag It. And this is not a Christmas set, but it does have a Christmas stamp in it. It is in the big catalog. I stamped it in real red and cut it out with a matching framelit from the Chalk Talk uh, framelits. All right, and I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back, like that, and just adhere him right there. Isn't he cute? Now you could leave these like that and be done, or you can take some stampin', some, I'm sorry, dazzling details, and go in and do his little cuffs, the bottom of his suit, just to give it a little more sparkle in his hat. And there you have it. Easy and so cute. These would also make really cute countdown to Christmas. If you had a countdown going at home um, and put little trinkets in there for your kids, I think that would be super cute. All right, I hope you've enjoyed it. We're halfway there. I hope you're busy getting ready for the holidays. I know I am, and life is crazy right now, so this is a really easy, simple project for you. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.